Well, it's been about a week since I've been out for a popper ride. That's because we've had a period of very wet, windy weather. This culminated with Storm Eunice, which ripped through Cambridgeshire with its 70 mile an hour winds, bringing down trees and power lines. I wasn't going to go out in that. Despite it being a good opportunity for grabbing Strava KOMs. I've had a few showers on my ride here to Cambridge North Station where I'm going to start the ride. I've just started my ride towards St Ives. I'm going to be following the Cambridge busway all the way there which is a fairly convenient off-road route and the time warp may make me look as though I'm riding quite fast although I won't be as there's about a 20 mile an hour headwind so in reality I'll be going quite slow One thing that can be said about this path that runs next to the busway, the cycle path is lovely and smooth. I mentioned earlier that it was going to be windy and although there have been periods where I've been going through rather open countryside and exposed to that strong wind overall the wind hasn't been too bad primarily because early on in the ride I was protected by the buildings and hedges and some fences now later on in this ride as you can see to the left here there are also some hedges and foliage and banking that's protecting me from the worst of the wind oh dear there's another exposed section coming up As I hope you can see to the left there, there's a lot of water. Often at this time of the year, February, this part of the cycle track is flooded and often it's impassable by bike. If you look in the top right, you'll see a link to my video, Riding Through Floods, which contains footage of this cycle path when it's flooded. 